Hey guys, welcome back to Tivy Time. I have a pan of uh, cold water right here. I'm just starting to peel some potatoes. What I'm gonna make is what I'm gonna call oven roasted mashed potatoes. So what I'm doing right now, peeling my potatoes. Um, I've just washed them and I'm starting to peel them and I'm gonna cut them all up into like size amounts and boil them and uh, I'll come back. I'm gonna show you how I make my mashed potatoes and then what I do from there to have them be oven roasted mashed potatoes. So hey, stick around. Okay guys, so I just finished peeling the potatoes. I've got some cold water. I keep the potatoes in the cold water uh, from the moment I finish peeling them so that they don't turn brown. Now I'm gonna cut them all into like size amounts and boil them. Okay, I just finished cutting them. They're all about the same size. And I'm just going to sprinkle this water with some kosher salt and we're going to get it up on the stove and start boiling it. All right, you guys. So I just got them on the stove, bringing them to a boil while we're waiting for the potatoes to boil. I'm going to prepare this baking dish. I have some butter and I'm just going to actually butter the bowl. So what we're going to end up doing is making mashed potatoes. Then put the mashed potatoes in this bowl. We're gonna make a topping for it. We're gonna add some cheese to it. We're gonna bake them in the oven and they're gonna be beautiful. So there, you can get that bowl buttered and out of the way and I'll let you see what happens next. All right guys, and so now I have a half a cup of milk and a half a stick of butter and I'm gonna keep that like that. I'm going to warm it in the microwave to add to my potatoes to make my mashed potatoes. All right, you guys, whoops, the potatoes are still boiling and I am going to start making a topping that's gonna to go on these mashed potatoes. So what I have here is Italian breadcrumbs and that's a third of a cup. And then I have some Parmigiano Reggiano shredded. And I'm going to use a third of a cup, well, a big towering third of a cup. So this is what I'm going to use. It's a big third of a cup. This is what I'm going to use to top the mashed potatoes with before they go back into the oven for baking. So my potatoes have been boiling for about 15 minutes. So they're almost done. And I'll bring it back and show you how I make my mashed potatoes in... Uh, I'm gonna grate some. Uh, I'm gonna grate some more cheese to put in the potatoes. So stay tuned. All right, guys. I am going to shred some cheese. This is a Monterey Jack. I usually use uh, mozzarella. I didn't have any. I don't have any mozzarella. So, you know, if you're a cook, you just adjust. You find what you have and you use what you have. So I am going to grate. Um, probably about a half a cup of this Monterey Jack cheese. Let me show you what there, Monterey Jack. So about a half a cup of this, and this is going to go into the potatoes. I just, what I'm trying to show you is how I prepare everything that's going to be used in the making of these potatoes prior to them going into the oven. And uh, like I said, they're almost done boiling. Let's go over here. There they are boiling right there. All right, so we will be back in just a few minutes to show you how to make the mashed potatoes. You guys, I'm just turning these potatoes off. These are done, done, done. So, all right, I'm going to drain them off and I'm gonna put them right back in the pan. And I'm going to turn the pan back on low, really, really, really low, really, really, really low, just to dry these bad boys out. Okay, so I'm gonna stir them. This is how I make my mashed potatoes. And they're, I boil them a very long time, so they're already mashing by just stirring them. Now you just heard the microwave. That was my milk and my butter that I just heated up to put in with these. So now, I'm gonna mash, mash, mash by hand, because that's how I do it. I don't do the ricer. 
I'm gonna just do it by hand, okay? And I'm gonna go get the milk and the butter. Right back, guys. So I showed you that I had a half a cup of milk and a half a stick of butter. And this, I'm not gonna put it all in just yet, but I put a lot of it in and I'm gonna stir that around. And when you make mashed potatoes, you, you know what consistency you like them. For this, I'm gonna make it just a little bit looser because they're gonna go back into the oven. So I think I'm gonna use all of it. And now, this is what I don't normally do. I shredded up that cheese I was telling you about. And I put about an eighth of a cup of cheddar in just, just to throw a little color in. I just thought cheddar would have a nicer flavor. Oh, a ton of it. So this is this. I'm just gonna get this all combined. I'm gonna pour it into my casserole dish. Turn this heat right off. I'm going to put some salt and pepper in it. Give me a second to get the top off the salt. I got some kosher salt. All right, salt and some ground black pepper. There we go, that's plenty. Okay, and then this is gonna go into the casserole dish. I'll come back in a second and show you what I'm gonna do next. All right, guys, here is my buttered bowl. And I'm going to add all the potatoes right in here. I have a whole roasted chicken in the oven right now. It's just finishing. I am gonna pull it out of the oven. And while the chicken's resting, I'm gonna bake this. So I'm gonna let the chicken rest for about 30 minutes so I can bake these potatoes. Hang on a second. These look really good. Oh, they smell amazing. And then I told you that topping, um, I used Italian breadcrumbs. You can use whatever breadcrumbs you want. Italian breadcrumbs and Parmigiano, Reggiano cheese. That's what I used. All right, so let me get the topping on. I'm gonna put these in the oven, like I said, at 350 for at least 30 minutes. We'll see if I need to have them in longer. I don't think I will. Mm, I had to look that. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> All right, here's my topping. Okay. So let me pull, I gotta pull that chicken out first to make room for this. And I'm gonna do it uncovered. And I'm thinking these are gonna be really yummy. Now, I think I'm gonna put a little drizzle of oil on the top too. Just a drizzle of olive oil. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, now they're gonna go in the oven and we'll be back and I'll show you what they look like when they get done. Okay guys, here they are out of the oven and they look beautiful. Amazing, look at this. Look at this. All right, they are still sizzling. All right, looking good. You gotta try this. Thanks for watching Tybee Time.